They're holding back because of a secret. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. They don't want it to be over with you. This does not have to be romantic. It could be something else, job, friendship, but it could be romantic. They went with someone else. And now they have fear about coming back into you because they're still holding back because of some secret. And there's some secret about why they chose the other person. The fear now, let's speak this fear out of their life. That there are no secrets, that any, if any secrets come to light, that they just work together for everybody's highest good. Um, they don't want to hold back anymore and they're wondering if it's too late. Ashamed of how I treated you and will I ever be enough for you? Um... There's a whole lot of shame here. Like, that's what the secret's about. The secret has something to do... Like, they feel held back by the secret. Um, I'm getting a vibe also that this chose someone else. That it has something to do with some kind of third-party drama. For sure. Self-medicating. That's where they are right now. Thinking about coming in. Like, the fear is that you're just rejecting once and for all. The fear is that... Because just too much time has passed, they think. Not over. Like, time for healing... They're telling themselves that the longer they wait, they wait, the more they heal. This has to do with a pep talk they're giving themselves. There needs to be healing with this third party situation. Let's send healing energy their way. I manifest that for you. That's the way we break these curses. Write about this. Could be journaling. That this is however it resonates for you. And collective message. So, um, kind of broad, but but please be positive with your words. Please be good with your words. Remember, you're always writing your story. Your path is getting clearer. Okay, they were removed from your path to make it clearer. Uh, I don't know how much you want to read, read into any of this drama because that it just feels like drama. Like, um, mm, self-medicating. I mean, I just don't want to go negative with my words. You take that as it resonates for you because if this is for you, I manifest. Somebody will come into your mind. You'll know exactly what this is about. This person needs healing. They really do. Unaware of your own power. They come to you for the healing power. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Alone but not lonely. Gosh, this card keeps coming out. And I have it in a few decks. It just keeps popping right out. Because, you know, people are lonely right now. And there's a spirit of that going on. Look, people naturally want to be around each other. Like, it's funny because some of us don't. Like, I believe it sort of shows the spiritual ascension we're going through. Like, some of us, honestly, I want to be alone more than ever. Because I get more work done. I do this. Um, I just get more work done. I'm able to focus, I'm able to meditate. When someone's around, they're always talking to me, getting in my thoughts, cl clouding up my cl consciousness. And I really have so many thoughts I just want to have, you know. And I think a lot of people get that way. I'm, I'm sure I'm talking to people. There's going to be a few of you who feel the same way. It's like some of us are needy, some are not. And um, for different reasons, you know, some people. Anyway, I, I, what I'm saying is this person's needy, <laughs> very needy. And that's another reason why they're holding back. Because they they know that you're not going to give them the level of attention that they want. Because they really need to sort out their own problems. You are successful. You put out good energy. And you are wealthy and prosperous in every aspect of your life. I'm getting a sense that someone took from you, like, the self-medicating. Like, they did something to end the relationship that I don't even want to speak. But whatever was stolen from you or taken from you, it comes back. You are successful. It, you know, just I, you know, life can change in a blink of an eye. Don't ever be discouraged. No discouragement. You are discouraged by nothing, by no one. You always put out good energy and you reap good karma from it. Nothing can stop your wealth or your prosperity. It in every single aspect of your life. Whatever this person did, or you know, no, they no, they didn't. You you mm, you were getting it all back. You are wealthy and prosperous in every aspect of your life. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.